Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this simple yet eye-catching makeup look. First I'm going to start by prepping my face. Even though we're not going to start with that, it's really great to leave your face products to, to kind of sink in while you work on your eye makeup. Then I'm going to wipe away any excess moisture on my lids. As you know, moisture is what's going to cause your shadows to crease. And I'm going to start prepping my eye for eyeshadow and the liner. Now, I prefer to use the concealer than powder method. Use whatever method that you find keeps your eyeshadow and liner on longer. So once I apply my concealer, I'm then going to apply a translucent powder over the top, just with a small brush, just to really set that concealer in. Then I'm going to go in with a neutral contour shade and I'm going to apply this into the crease and up towards the brow with a very fluffy brush. Just blend this out. This is just add a little bit of definition so the line isn't alone. After you do this on both eyes, we're then going to move on to our powder. Now this isn't actually translucent, lucent. it's got a little bit of uh, uh, opacity to it. I'm just going to use that to lighten up the eyelid and highlight the brow a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with a blue liner. Now this is the star of the show. This is the blue liner from Maybelline. It's their Kajal liner. It wasn't amazing, I have to say. I did have to go over the line a couple times to get it to the opacity that I need. And I do go over it a bit later with shadow. And I kind of dragged a little bit. So just be patient. Use whatever blue liner or whatever color liner that you're using for this look. So once you have your line that's lifting the eye, fill it in with the liner and then I'm going to bring the liner all the way into the inner corner. You don't have to go this far, whatever works best for you. Then I'm going to take a navy blue eyeshadow. This is a matte eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to not only set that liner so it doesn't crease and smudge everywhere, but it's also going to add a lot more opacity to the line and give it a lot more color. As I said, the liner wasn't the best, but oh well. Then to add a little bit of definition to the uh, lash line, I'm going to take a liquid liner. This it has a really thin tip and I'm going to line really close to the lash line. Then I'm going to take the black Kajal liner, which in my opinion is a much better than the blue one. Not sure how that works, but I'm going to use that to tight line my eyes to again add depth to the lash line, which can sometimes be lost with such a dramatic liner. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a black mascara, a couple coats, then I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm first going to apply my primer over my T-zone where I do find I get a few pores kind of showing through uh, my skin. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm just using kind of a matte-ish finish foundation, dotting that all over my face. And then I'm going to blend that in with a sponge, just using a damp sponge just to bounce that into the skin. And this will not only uh, give a really flawless finish, but also apply some moisture into the skin. And I'm going to go in with my concealer. This I actually filmed this tutorial during my Halloween tutorial, so my skin freaked out on me. <laughs> so I needed a little bit more concealer than usual. I'm just using the pointed end of the sponge to bounce that concealer in to give a really nice natural finish. This is an everyday look, so you don't want it to be too thick a concealer. Then I'm going to go back in with the same powder that I've used throughout the tutorial and a fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to lightly set my skin. I don't use too much powder. I just don't really like it all that much. Then, this was actually my first time using the AC on Tour palette. I'm going to go in with that first kind of banana yellow shade on a setting brush. I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes to lighten and brighten and set the concealer underneath there. Then with that middle bottom shade and my contour brush, I'm going to contour the face very lightly. Um, unfortunately, the first time using this, it ended up incredibly grey. I have learnt my lesson since then. Then I'm using the highlight shade on my cheekbones and then I'm going to go in and do my brows, super simple brow, not really using anything but my gimme brow to go through the brows, add a little bit of volume and keep them in place. Then I'm going to move on to blush, this is a natural pink colour and blush brush and I'm going to apply that towards the backs of my cheeks to really lift the face. Then I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick and I'm going to apply that straight from the bullet to my lips, blot that. And then I'm going to go in with a lip gloss, which is a new color lip gloss. I'm going to apply that all over the lips. And there you have it. That is your wearable but dramatic eyeliner. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye.